what is going on guys, it is by Zero here, also known as Delorac, and today I am bringing you a video special on how to obtain your very own Noodle card. Yes, uh, since 5.4 has been added in, there have been some uh, drastic changes, I would say, to the cooking system. And uh, pretty much if you don't know what the Noodle card is, it's uh, pretty much on screen, yeah. Uh, what it is, is there are, I think so far, three levels. There's a Noodle card, Deluxe Noodle card and the Pandaren Treasure Noodle Cart. And uh, pretty much it acts as a table or a feast where you can set it out and your raid members, party members, whatever, can uh, quote-unquote buy noodles from you. They're actually free, but yeah. Um, there are three stages. Well, the three stages, and I believe there are different buffs. I think there's 250, 275, and 300. I'm not too sure, but yeah. So, the quest I'm actually showing now is how to get the final level of the noodle carts, which is the Panda and Treasure Noodle Cart. And uh, you actually have to spend quite a bit of time doing this. I think I only recently started it. Yeah. But um, I spent about, I don't know, a couple of hours. And uh, pretty much it starts from this little, I don't know what you say, quest marker giver thing about the secret ingredient of Pandaria or whatever in the Time of Sail, and pretty much that sets you on a whole long journey, which involves uh, the first part, you have to kill the Shah of Doubt in the Temple of Jade Serpent, then after that you can kill this ghostly figure, I guess you would call it. And after that you can make the Noodle Cart, level 1, level 1 Noodle Cart, which provides a 250 buff, and after that you have to go to Stormsat Brewery, kill a bunch of the ailmentals and get some of their essence, I think it's called. And as well then you can make the deluxe one. And uh the next set is making the deluxe one and getting fifty fatty turtle steaks off the turtles on the time side. Now you can do this with the great turtles or whatever you call them, the ones that have over a million health, but I choose to do it with small ones. It's a very efficient farming way. And considering it takes maybe a second or two to down a couple of them and you get maybe two to four of those fatty turtle snakes, it's a pretty good way at farming it. Now as you see here, once you've done that, you bring it in and you can start a scenario. So pretty much what you have to do in the scenario is feed to the people whatever noodles they want. Now I don't know if it's different for everyone and I probably ended up doing it the wrong way, but there are three types of people as you see. There are the merchants, the scholars and the farmers. Now you have three different types of noodles you can feed them, just normal, dragon's nest, and I think the panda and treasure noodles at the end, I'm not too sure. But as you see, I'm feeding scholars the uh, basic noodle soup. I think I'm feeding the merchants, well, you can easily distinguish who they are by their colour. The merchants have that sort of dark blue outfit going, the scholars have a white slash light light blue one. And then you have the Hungry Farmhand, who are wearing the black. Black and red. Blah. Anyway, as you see on the Hungry Farmhand, he has a little berserker mouth thing, I guess you call it. And that usually means that they are wanting to eat two lots, so after they finish their first lot, you can feed them a second one. Now, it does get quite hectic, especially when you have almost all the... you have all tables full and you have to feed different people different things. As you see here, a scholar just arrives, he's hungry and wants two servings of a normal noodle soup. And yeah, if you haven't noticed down the bottom, you have five different, I'd say, spells, casting things. Um, there are the three different types of the noodle soup, as well as one which clears all your customers and one which clears all of your noodles off your bench. Now, I think this is a pretty long scenario. I think it was about six and a half minutes. And you can repeat this as a daily or weekly quest, I can't remember. But who would want to, in all honesty? Now, it, to make the noodle carts, it does require different, a lot of different ingredients, and to make the best one, which is the Pandaren Treasure Noodle Cart, you're going to want to have, I'd say, max skills in every Pandaren cooking way, so the way of the grill, way of the pot, bank, uh, etc, etc, 
but it is more efficient, I think, just to make the banquets. The noodle cart is good, and it does have its upsides, like, rather than having all the raw ingredients, you can just buy the food separately, but it is quite expensive. Uh, another good side to the carts, though, is that you can take five servings at a time, and that will stay there for however long. So, if you're in a raiding guild, such as myself, and I, well, I would prefer people to put this down because rather than having to put down a table every time you wipe, which uh, is usually caused by me, um, you can just pick up five of the noodle soups at the start, and you just got them. But uh, uh, it's not as good as buying class-specific food or spec specific food, say like I'm a frosty K and instead of having this and having the 250 buff from the noodles, I'd rather have a strength buff, 275, but whatever. So that's one downside to it, but then again, it is quite good. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using this though, I would probably say use the tables or feasts. And... Yeah, this is actually quite a long quest chain, gets quite annoying, but, or at least on the Frostborn server, there are quite a lot of people who are going, or who are queuing for the dungeon, so it shouldn't take too long. I think it took me about 10 minutes to queue as DPS, and I get it almost instantly as tank, so it's really good. But just, uh, for the Temple of Jade Serpent, after you kill the Shire of Doubt, you go to the very back corner, and there's like a little scroll with a cogwheel that you can interact with and that allows you to summon someone behind, like uh, the ghostly figure. And you have a, uh, not a very complicated fight, but a quite annoying one. I would recommend having a healer stay behind, like I switched when I queued his tank, I switched back to DPS and got a healer to stay behind. I almost died because he can put on huge amounts of damage onto you. But he has these little spinning spoons, or I don't know what you would call them, but they can do quite a large amount of damage to you. I'd recommend staying clear of that. But, uh, yeah, so this has just been a quick, simple little guide on pretty much what the noodle carts are and how to get them. Stay tuned for more in the future. Subscribe, like, all that shit. Peace out.